Hi. Hi. Oh my yeah. God, I'm so excited for this. It's gonna be so fun. I kept everything simple. It'll be a great. Great first workout for everyone. I'm out. sure that your first workout, people are gonna die anyway. <laughs> I know, I know. Even though it's simple, it's still like, ah. It's always you know. hard with Beth. I don't think I've ever done a workout with you that wasn't hard. Nice to meet everyone. Uh, my name is Beth Nicely. I've been a professional dancer in six Broadway shows, a Radio City Rockette, lots of other different performances for, how long has it been now? 18 years. Ah, can you believe that? We both like started as babies. I've been a trainer for nine years. I'm a certified personal trainer through the National Academy of Sports Medicine. And I'm also a pre and postnatal special specialist through um, pronatal. I love training. I love um, getting people really strong. And I love actually like bringing my life experience into the training. Like I just mentioned where it's like professional dancers are, are like professional athletes. You know, we work at a level that's like, ah! And most people I train are like, what? But then, <laughs> but then you get surprised by how strong you can, you get. And throughout this crazy pandemic, I created my own company called The Limit. And it's um, the best company ever. Like, your workouts got me through quarantine too. <laughs> oh, yay! Yeah, it's been super awesome. I mean, it's a company, like literally a virtual company of live Zoom classes, on-demand classes, and it's great. Uh, I have other trainers that are all certified that work for The Limit, and it's awesome. We're all performers and professional dancers, so it's super fun and I really, I mean, the limit. I mean, Kelly, can you <laughs> think of a better name? Every day I'm like, let's push our limits. <laughs> I feel like you don't have a limit, Beth. I know, I always like, I definitely work myself hard to see what is my limit. I love training you because it's like, you're just like, you've got that dedication, perseverance and like, recovery, you know what I mean? Like you've got the whole like maintenance, everything down. And so it's, you know how to push yourself, get to a certain point and keep going. <laughs> I feel like I don't really know where my limit is. I just push and then sometimes maybe I push too much because I don't really realize. And then, you know, oh, I have a broken foot. <laughs> I mean, you, you had that happen too. You broke your foot in a in a show. Yeah, I broke my foot in a show. Unfortunately, doing the MC Hammer move in heels, which wasn't like my best moment as a dancer. The important thing is to, is to continue to train so that when that might happen, just really in everyday life as well, it doesn't become. It's not like the worst case scenario when it happens. You know. So like when I broke my foot, they were like, oh. You're, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be like a really fast recovery because I've kept everything else very strong. But when you get to a certain level of physical activity, you're gonna have to deal with different things that happen when you push yourself to a certain level. I mean, think about all the Olympians and professional athletes that you're always like, so-and-so's down. He like fell or like they skied, they like took a tumble. You know, I work out a lot and I'm always active. It's like workouts, tennis, hiking. It's all my hobbies. That's why I really, the recovery part is really important for me. You know, I do the saunas and the ice bath and take rest days. Even though mm -hmm. that's like really hard for me. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, cause all of the, my favorite exercises for arms are like the ones we do with the, with rest oh, yeah. rates and stuff like these kind of things. Some yeah. of them, I like, I try to relax my, what are these called? Your traps. I try to relax them, but it's still like, like after many reps, mm -hmm. it goes out of here and here for me. And it goes like into my, to my neck, even though I try to relax it. The best thing you can do um, is lower your arms too. But yeah, I do, that's what I do too. Oh, perfect, perfect, yeah. Cause it's just more about like um, the traps getting involved and if, if after multiple reps, 
they start to, if, if they're pretty prominent on you and, the, and a lot of things tend to go there, it's gonna go there because your body already resorts to that muscle, especially when you get fatigued. So you can just lower it so it kind of goes more into your lats and your back and then your biceps and everything can still stay. So Beth is gonna do the hard version and every time I feel like it's getting too hard, I'll give you guys a modification. <laughs> Yeah, 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 which is perfect, yeah. Because you want to, you know, not one way to do something is correct for everyone. The most important thing is to work the correct muscles. When I was working out a lot, like, you know, a few times a day, and my butt would get so, you know, like from all of these things, sometimes, yeah. remember I told you that sometimes it would go into like the muscle above the butt? Totally, totally. <laughs> into this, which is like, I don't want to build that. That's where the focus comes in. So that's your glute, gluteus medius muscle. And it's very important for some things, but it can become overactive. Um, if you don't keep like the focus and keeping your hips square. Sometimes, a lot of times when you do um, butt stuff and if you open that hip a little bit, it'll start to go up here. So it's okay to keep your leg lower so you end up just squeezing your actual glute mat, uh, max every time instead of getting it up there. Like that's what I love that you say these things because it's so important. I get a lot of people are like, you're not doing that exercise right or you're, you're not squatting low enough. But it's all about, right, like thinking about what you want to engage, especially for these exercises that we do. If you're feeling it in the wrong place or something's like, hurting that isn't, I mean, everything hurts when you're working out with that, but if it's hurting in the wrong way, you should like, you know, check your form. So for the workouts that we're doing today or the exercises, do you have any tips or recommendations for people? We're gonna keep everything simple today, straightforward. It shouldn't be uh, intimidating at all. They're moves that everyone can do. Um, and I think you just shouldn't, um, especially this time of year, you shouldn't feel bad if you can't complete something. You know, you want to work towards completing something. That's a, that's a workout, that's training. Any trainer that gives someone something and they can complete everything. You might feel good about yourself, but the trainer is then like, nope, we gotta, we gotta make it a little bit harder, you know, and keep you moving forward. I always tell everyone, breaks are fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you're working hard. You've worked, you've fatigued yourself. You've gotten to your max on that exercise and that's fine. Shake it out and get back in it. And each time you'll be able to do more and more. This is our fitness month. We're getting people, you know, giving people an easy platform to crush their New Year's resolution goals and fitness goals. They're gonna work out with us, you know, every week now. Any recommendations? before getting started. Just make sure you have a good warm up routine. It just, it actually sets the tone of your workout and it also just gets your, tells your body, okay, we're about to get in it. Don't have any expectations of yourself. If you haven't been physically active, to really start from square one, it's a great opportunity to kind of start from the beginning if you haven't been working out, or if you've been working out but haven't been like on your game, just to focus, get back to the basics, get your form strong so that by the end of this month, you're like, Aah! I'm like, super strong. Um, and then also cool down. That's missed a lot as well, cool down. If you follow any like major athletes or runners or anything, they're stretching nonstop. They're in the sauna, they're doing ice, they're doing, you know, you have to take care of your body. You can't expect everything from your body at, and not give it some love here and there, you know? It, it's so important um, for the, for injuries. Yeah, you know, to yeah. prevent injuries. And what are we doing today? What workout okay. are we doing? Tell us. We're kind of gonna hit a little bit of everything. I'm gonna keep it plain and simple. All you need are light free weights. I and if people these. don't have weights at home, can they use something else? Yeah, oh yeah. Like I'm using three pound free weights, but I've definitely had people use wine bottles, cans. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't need anything to, uh, like a ton of things to have like a solid workout. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. We're gonna do a little bit of upper body, then we're gonna get into lower body with some planks and abs and kind of hit everything. Sweet, awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited yeah. for this. The first thing, we're not gonna use any weights. We're just gonna warm up our arms. Yay, okay, let's start this. Let's do it. How long is the workout fast? Oh, oh, it's 40 minutes. 40 minutes, great. And then a little yeah. stretch after. Yes, we're gonna do a good stretch. Just reach side to side. Three, four, good. 
Keeping those hips still. Good, circle those arms. Yeah. <laughs> All right, shoulders. Eight more. Good, lateral lunges to warm up those knees. Uh -huh. Good, side up to one leg. Up, yep, good. Now we're gonna hold it up, bend that knee and straighten. Good, good, good. Testing that stability. Good, back to a lunge, just bend those knees. Yeah, four. Now twist, keep those hips still. Eight more. Best part, breathe in and stretch it out. Ha! Take it over to one leg. Other leg. Good, other side, lunging it out. For a four more. All right, other leg, stability, side and up. Good. Hold it up, bend and straighten. Good. Two and one. Good. Lunge pulses. Eight more. Twist it out. Eight more, eight. Good, just take some down and up squats, down and up. Evening it out. Eight more. Four more. Good, all right, stretch those arms. Energy through your fingers. We're gonna do some lightweight arms. Just pulsing it up for 16, warming up those arms. Eight more, eight. Good, palms back. Eight more. Good, flip back in front, back front. Eight 
Eight more. Good, fly it away. All in 16. Eight more. All of that again. It's crazy that you can feel this with zero weight. I know, isn't that crazy? These are so sneaky. I know. <laughs> Palms back. Especially that third round. It's always the third round. Eight more. Good, flip it around. Rotate that shoulder socket. Eight more. Fly it away, 16. Abdominals engaged, squeeze those glutes. All right, one more round. Pulse it up. Eight more. Palms back. Good, good. Eight more. Flip it back in front. Good, eight more. Fly away, last 16. Yeah, woo! Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Oh my God, I can totally feel that. I know, nice and warm. And the progression would be to add wrist weights. So hopefully later on, you'll be able to add some wrist weights. But now Kelly is gonna add wrist weights. I'm gonna add three pound free weights. All right, so we're gonna take this nice and simple. Our arms are forward, slightly below our shoulders, abs engaged, and we're just opening and closing for 12. Out and close. Two, mm -hmm. three, four, good, good, five, six, seven, eight, four more, four, three, tall spine, two, one, both arms in and extend, two, Three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more, four, three, two. Now hold both out, just one arm. Two, three, four, good, five, Six, seven, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, 12. Other arm, one. I always think the worst arm is the one you have to hold out. Oh my God, it's burning. I know. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, four more, four, three, Two, now that's the series from the top. Close and open for 12. Two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, 
four more. Nine, 10, 11, 12. In and out, both arms. One, good. Two, three, four, nice and tall, five, six, seven, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, 12. One arm, one, two, three, four, good, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four more, 10, 11, and 12. Last round, woo! Guys, this is, how is this beginner? <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So simple, but very effective. 11. 12, in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here we go, single arms, then we get to shake it out. Two, three, Four, yeah, five, six, yes, almost there. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Woo! Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Nice job. You know, Kelly, what it is too, is like when you go back to the basics and you stand still, it's a lot harder than if you're like moving your body with everything. You're having to isolate and hold everything. I feel it here. And it just seems like so many muscles like this. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's like your front, so you have three different shoulder muscles, delts, and we did the interior delt and your bicep. All right, now we're going into triceps. Same thing, holding yourself still. So legs wide, bend those knees, elbows back, keep those elbows high. Just eight extensions and back. Two, good. Three, four, yeah, Kelly. Five, six, seven. Now straight arms down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clap your hands. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Palms up. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Round two. One. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight straight arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clap your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Palms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more round. Back and in. <laughs> two, yep, three, four, four more, four, three, two, hold and pulse, down and up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, clap your hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, palms up, one, two, almost there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, take it in, one, two, three, four, last four, and three, and two, and one. Yeah. My arms. I know, I know it's all like that. Uh, uh, curl up, curl up. All right, we're gonna just warm up those legs before we go down on the ground. So I want you to externally rotate. We're gonna be in our heels, more glutes, outer thigh, and we're just gonna press down and extend up. Simple, simple, and up. But put those weight in your heels. Four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, ten. Ten more, shoulders back, ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it down 20 pulses. Dig into those heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees back, outer thigh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Round two, down and up. Dig into those heels. Two. Three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. In those heels, pulse it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Knees back, outer thigh. One. 
two, yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more round. Down and up. Woo, warm up those legs. Two, three, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, squeeze those glutes to the top, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it down, pulse it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, raise the room, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, one, knees back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake those legs out. Was that inner thigh also? Because I felt it in my inner thighs. Yeah, for sure. The, the down, the extension, and then coming up. All right, we're gonna grab our mat and go into tabletop. So biggest thing, keep your shoulders over your wrists. We're gonna do parallel and turned out flex foot. Eight and then 16, here we go. In and up, your fave. Two and up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pulse it up, 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, open that hip, so we're gonna open and close, two, good, three, four, yep, four more, four, Three, two, now hold it out, outer thigh pulses for 16. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Round two, here we go. In and up. Two, three, Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Pulse it up. Sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, open it up, out and in. Two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pulse it out to the side, outer thigh, one, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, here we go. Round three. Woo! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pulse it up. Good. One. Two, if it's too much on your wrists, you can go down to your forearms, yeah. Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open that hip, out and in. 
two, good. Three, four, five, yep. Six, seven, hold it out and pulse. One, so two, painful. three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, Kelly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last round, always four rounds. Yeah. I thought we were gonna get away with three. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, pulse it up, 16. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open and close. Ha! Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. hold it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost there. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Woo! wow, that is such a good butt workout. Yeah, that's a good booty. It kind of hits everywhere a little bit. Before we go on to the other side, we're gonna do a forearm plank series. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, okay, so shoulders over elbows, hips in line with shoulders. I'm gonna move my mat a little diagonal. Yeah. All right, 12 of each, starting with knee bends. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Side taps. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Obliques, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, pikes back. One, two, three, four, good, keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, good. We're gonna take a second. By the end of January, we're not going to take a second. <laughs> but today, I'm giving you a second. I was so happy that you gave people a second. I'm like, if we're doing three rounds of this, we're not stopping, dear God. <laughs> but here we go. We do have two more rounds of that. I know. <laughs> I didn't have to explain that to you, Kelly. <laughs> Here we go. Knee bends for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, side taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, 12, obliques, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, 12, pike it back for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, all right, another little break. Shaking it out, we have one more round. I'm sure people are feeling this. <laughs> all right, last round. Here we go. Last round. <laughs> Knee bends for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Side taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, obliques, one, two, three, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, plank it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah! I cannot believe that this is the beginner workout. I know! <laughs> it is. It's the beginner workout, but you know, you just keep working up to it. It's all about the form. It's so simple. You know, that's the beginner part about it. The things we're doing are really simple. I love that. Like these super simple moves will get you ripped. Yeah, no, totally. I, could, I, I already thought about you. I could tell like, as we were doing like the last round of the planks, I was like, ooh, yeah, my muscles are engaged. I love that feeling. All right, let's do it, other side. Set up that tabletop. Flex that foot, in and up for eight. In and up. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, pulse it up, 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open that hip, one, and in, two, Three, good, good. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pulse it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, from the top, 
One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Pulse it up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Open and close. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Hold it out and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Round three. One, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, pulse it up. One, two, yes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open and close the hip. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, pulse it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more round. Woo! One, always four. <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Four, you know, I just like to make you do a little bit more than you actually want to. <laughs> Six, seven, and eight, pulse it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, open and close that hip. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pulse it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my, whoa. My booty! <laughs> booty, booty, booty. Nice job. It always feels good, like, fourth round done. You're like, yes, I'm my butt. All right, now we're gonna do one that's everyone's least favorite, but actually it's a perfect exercise for the start of January with everybody sitting down, is opening our upper back. So we're gonna lay on our stomachs. Yeah, we're gonna keep it nice and simple, but we're just gonna lay on our stomachs, squeeze your glutes, your lower body's just gonna hold as an anchor and we're just gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together. You're gonna make a T, shoot those arms out and just lift for eight. So we're squeezing and down. Good, two and down, three and down, four and down, five and down, six and down, seven, and down. Now hold this one up. 16 little squeezes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Round two. Down and up. Good. Two, three, four. Four more, four, and up, 
three, up, two, up, one, and hold, 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, round three of four, ah, two, three, four, five, good, keep squeezing your glutes, six, seven, eight, pulse it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, last one, down and up, whoo, up, three, almost there, four, and up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, and pulse, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ugh. I'm dead. <laughs> it's so bad. But it's so bad, and then you realize it's like, there's anger happening when you're doing it, because you're like, oh, I hate this. But then you're like, I probably need to do this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish with some abs. Breath work is very important when you do abdominals. But, you know, when we crunch up, you can crunch forever, but never actually get a strong core. You breathe in through your nose and hollow out in your abs when you crunch up. So you have to have that hollowing out when you crunch up. Yes, yeah, yeah, perfect. Keep going, three, four, good. Four more, five, six, seven, eight. Now add your knee, one, extend, two, extend. Three, extend, four, extend, five, extend, six, extend, seven, extend, eight, same leg, elbow to knee, in, extend, two, extend, three, extend, Four, extend, five, good, six, and seven, and eight. Set your foot down, tap your knee. One, and down. Two, and down. Three, and down. Four, and down. Five, and down. Six, and down, seven, and down, eight. Now side arm, other arm to the side, and in, yep. Two, and down, three, and down, four, four more, four, and down, three, and down, two, and down, one last one on this side, you just extend your leg and down. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, other leg, stack it up. From the top, here we go, one, and down. Breathe out, and down. Three, and down. Four, and down. Five, and down. Six, and down. Seven, 
and down, eight, and down, knee in, one, extend, two, extend, good, three, extend, four, extend, five, extend, six, extend, seven, extend, eight, extend, add your elbow, one, Extend, two, extend, three, yeah, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, drop that foot, tap that knee, one, and back, two, good, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now extend that leg, crunch it up. One and down. Two, three, good, good. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Bring your other leg up, and we're going to just have our legs in the air. Yep, you can have them bent if you don't have the hamstring strength uh, or flexibility. Just up and down, both legs. Two, three, four. Good. Five. Six, seven, eight. Now close on the crunch. One, and out. Good, yeah, you can have your legs bent too. And out. Three, and out. Four, and out. Five, and out. Six, and out. Seven, and out. Eight, now bring your knees a little bit closer in and extend. Two, or just keep them bent. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now upper abs, keep your knees bent or just reach and back. Good, two, Three, four, four more, five, six, seven, eight, and release. Ah, shake out those knees. Wow, that was so good. My favorite part is always the abs. Oh, I know. I always think of you when I do abs. I love it so much. I feel like I could do it for an hour and not get tired. No, I know. Especially that kind of isolated, controlled abs. Some people think that the booty stuff is so easy and they can do it for a long time. For me, it's like the abs. I just, I love it. We should do like for fun, like an hour ab workout. Just like all abs. For sure. Like one of the last videos that we do in January. Yeah. All right, let's stretch it out. Wow. Thank you so much for this, Beth. This is incredible. Oh no, of course. This is so fun. I love it. It's so fun. Okay, we're gonna lie on our back and just take your knees into your chest. Just do tiny circles on your lower back, each direction. Very good. Take a happy baby. Yeah, just grab your feet, press those knees in. Extend those legs out to the side. Just circle your ankles. Okay, Beth. <laughs> I wish I could do this. <laughs> that's okay. Remember, I'm like a professional dancer, so that's okay. I'm like, open your legs. <laughs> and remember that 
I'm not. <laughs> Bring it on, take a twist. Take a twist to one side. Good, just coming up. I wanna do a hip opener with you because this actually really stretches your gluteus medius area. So, see if you can do ankle to knee. Can you fit? Yeah! So even if you can't like fully go down all the way, just let your legs sit here so they slowly open up. And at home, if you don't have this flexibility, you can always do this with one leg straight forward. Work your way up, work your way up to the ankle to knee, but this feels really good. And you can just slowly, as we're sitting here, just lean forward with a straight spine and try and get a little deeper into those hips and glute knees. I always sit in this stretch forever at home. Ooh. Now go to one knee and try to hug it. Yeah. Other knee and try to hug it. <laughs> it's actually one of my New Year's resolutions is to be more flexible, become more flexible. I'm working really hard at that right now. That's good. It's hard because stretching takes time, you know what I mean? So it takes like you have to really have a certain amount of time a day to stretch. But you can do it while you're doing other things. Too. That's what I've started to do. Like while I'm working or writing emails, I'll sit and stretch. Yeah, you could sit here and just be like on your computer or something. <laughs> Other leg. Yeah, incorporating it however you can is awesome. It's so good for your joints and your bones. Yeah. And you know, it takes about 30 seconds for the your muscles to like go from spasm you know of like fighting the stretch to releasing so yeah it just takes a little bit of time i find that the breathing really helps with stretching too like pushing further on the exhale absolutely yes breathing is huge that exhale of like releasing Hug one side. And hug the other side. Good, good, good. Put your legs straight in front of you together and you can pull your sits bones from underneath you. Your hands are gonna go behind your head and you're just gonna let the weight of gravity in your head go forward and just roll forward. It's 
not really about getting down flat. It's more about just the rounded of your spine, stretching that tailbone and hamstrings. Yeah, Kelly, cross your legs. Let's just take an arm stretch real quick. We did work those earlier on. Ah. I love this workout. It was so good. Yay! Full body toning. It felt good. It's a good one, you know, especially like, cause it's, it's hard enough, you know, if you're conditioned, but also perfect for if you haven't, if you're not conditioned, if you haven't been working out. Yeah. This, this one's for you, Kelly. Put your arm behind your back and pull your head over for those traps. Wow, that feels so good. Yeah. When you feel good, you can tip your head a little bit more 45 degree angle too. Arm behind your head. If you kind of lean over too, it's a nice side stretch. All right, let's get those traps. Dip that head 45 degrees. <sighs> Take a big breath in. Totally, it just feels good. Yeah, now I like have a smile on my face all day. Yeah, <laughs> got those endorphins going. Workout number one, done. One, woo! People have to keep working out now all of January with us. So, yes. and then also keep go to uh, the limit. We'll put a link in here. So yeah. that you can do all of Beth's on demand um videos there's short ones long ones dance ones if you're into that the limit fit.com lots have lots happening over there awesome okay guys i hope that you all enjoyed this yeah. i'm sure they did <laughs> i enjoyed it and keep it keep up keep up with us because you know you made it through that one just keep moving keep doing it don't have any expectations for yourself just get through it as much as you can and then you'll see you'll see you'll get stronger if you just keep at it. You will, you really do get stronger. I remember when we started doing those plank series, I couldn't you know, do the entire one from the beginning, but when you keep at it, it's so fun to see the results of getting stronger too and being able to do more. Like it just does everything for your confidence, for your body, 
for everything, your mind. It's, it's an awesome feeling when you are putting in the work and then you see the results. It's, it's awesome. So people, don't give up now. Push through this January fitness month. Yeah! Well, thank you so much, Beth. I'll see you next time for the next session. And I can't believe that it's going to be harder than this. But... You know, keep working our way up. <laughs> yeah, great. Okay, thank you so much.